Mr. Mr. Man Sure things are getting out of hand There are no more rooms left to fill the gloom Caring is an heirloom we can't afford to lose I um, I got kind of stir crazy up in Westchester. I live in Westchester. It's a um, quiet area right outside of New York City. Um, it's cool. It's pretty. It's peaceful. But it can be a little stagnant. It can be a little still, you know. And you could get just stir crazy out there. So I decided to get out the house and go to the beach today. The beach I decided to go to was Far Rockaway, um, which is in Queens. I actually missed my stop, so I'm walking <laughs> to where I needed to get off at, um, which is cool because I get to explore. That's kind of what I want to do today, just walk around, explore, experience, and think, you know? Low-key fascinated with Far Rockaway. It is part of New York City that doesn't really feel like New York City. It's a beach town, honestly. Um, it looks like a beach town. It's next to a beach. It's a beach town that happens to have the New York City subway train running through it. Um, I've only been out here a few times, but from what I've seen, it's a primarily black and brown area. Um, I have a few friends out here um, who... Yeah, they seem to just like fall into this own unique pocket of culture and community out here in Far Rockaway. And I'm a little envious. It's like, it sounds awesome. It kind of sounds like when it's, when it's summertime, it's like a West Coast culture, basically. <laughs> but I'm trying to find the beach out here because that is the. That's honestly where I'm, why I'm out here. Look at these homes, guys. Aren't they beautiful? And they have this like coastal beach vibe. This is New York City. This is the same city with the Empire State Building, the Brooklyn Bridge, those iconic spots. This is the same city, but it looks like freaking Florida. Manicured lawns wide open spaces it's amazing look at that they even have those cute little signs that you find in cute little towns yeah i love it probably hella pricey at least this area american cheese Thank you. Okay. Yes, please. Got me some food. Subway. I love Subway. It's my guilty pleasure. But I guess, is it a guilty pleasure? Because it's like healthy for you, so I don't know. No, it is a guilty pleasure because it's not a black owned business. You gotta support black owned businesses and that's, Subway's not one of them. But I got me a little something to eat while I'm at the, uh, the beach. The crazy thing about this area, <laughs> is that people be surfing out here. I'm looking at surfboards right now, like, surfboards, surfboards. Let me remind you, we're in New York City and there's surfboards, surfers. It's just wild to me, like, maybe y'all know, knew all about this and this culture out here, but anytime when I come out here, I'm blown away. What? Check out my film rig. Just did a self-portrait. And then I asked some couple down there um, if I can do a 
if I can take a photo of them as well. I'm still trying film, like seeing how I can like do my thing with it, but it is so tough. I hope you guys can hear me okay, because it is so windy. And I got a little cold, so I put on my shirt. Just finished my sandwich. But yo, um, I came out here to relax today, but also to reflect on the past two weeks. As you know, we've kind of catapulted into a period, a season of, uh, of social activism. Um, a handful of uh, black lives have been lost. Um, Rihanna Taylor, Ahmaud Arbery, George Floyd, um, to name a few. And um, it's catapulted everyone, all of the, the world, really, to acknowledge the injustice, racial injustice that has been going down historically. Um, a lot of my, my daily thinking, a lot of my creative work, a lot of my direction in life has been geared towards um, liberating black people. We've entered a, a place in which now, socially, this, the new social norm is to um, to act against uh, racial injustice. And it being a social norm means that we have to come together and decide how we're going to move together. Which, How are we going to participate in, in undoing all of this? And it's making me feel quite uh, confused at times because I, I, so I don't know what to do. Like, I feel, sometimes I feel inactive, sometimes I feel helpless. You know, the thing is, is that when you are black and you're dealing with these things, part of your work is also acknowledging the stress that you carry because of it. And, but you, you carry the stress, but you also have to acknowledge the source of the stress at the same time. And there's no rule book here. There's no guide. There's no blueprint. So we're all trying to figure out how can we pres preserve our mental and emotional health while also being active participants against being, being warriors against what has happened. It's, it's, it's tough, you know, but I'm seeing that just taking moments to rest and reflect and then start the sprint again is what's essential to me. So I got off the beach so I could just uh, reduce the wind and actually have a conversation. Ooh, check out this car. Hold up. This car is fly. This car is fly. Sheesh. We have this area over here. I think what I was trying to say at the beach is that it's important to find the balance on a personal level between uh, rest and running, rest and action. Um, especially as a person of color, especially as a black person, we hold so much stress within our bodies and so much pain, so much negative thought, negative energy. And we hold it to process it. We're processing the wrongdoings of the world. We're processing the crimes against not only black people, but the world, we're always processing and it's, it takes a toll on us. We deserve to also rest. We deserve to also flourish and thrive. And it's about finding that balance. Find the balance. So, yeah, I want to take more days like this to just escape and to come back to myself and to really just enjoy this life. Because although life is like it can be hard at times, and there's a lot of different moments that um, can make us feel pain and anger or what have you, negative emotion. But still, we still just have one, we still just have one life, you know, and we have to, we have to enjoy it, we have to appreciate it, um, otherwise, what are we fighting for? You know, what are we fighting for if we don't really sit and appreciate these moments we're gonna live until we're until we're not we're gonna be alive until we're not so let's enjoy this life while making it a better a better situation for not only ourselves but our community and the world a dream we can't buy every day